and this is a bloodied mole miner gauntlet. I would put the third claw on here, except I don't have mole rat teeth, so we're going to be missing out a bit of damage, but on spec, we're getting 104 damage out of this thing. Pretty good. And now uh, the thing I hate about the mole miner gauntlet is the fact that it weighs so much. But anyway, let's get some perks. So to increase our damage, we're going to add Iron Fist, because that's the only thing that increases this thing's damage. We also have Incisor for uh, anti-armor, I guess. Martial Artist for swing speed, and it weighs less. And then just Barbarian. And then over here we have Nerd Rage, just to get a little bit more damage at Bloody Threshold. And then over here we are going to add ninja because we're going to be using this thing with sneak over here in luck we're going to add bloody mess for just a little bit extra damage and with all that we're getting 165 damage i'm going to go into bloodied slash nerd rage threshold and see what damage we can get notice the health bar we're just under nerd rage threshold and we're getting 808 damage pretty good Let's go kill some muties. In Shrek wannabes. Here are my buffs. Not this is not exactly a buff, but you know whatever. Uh, full suit of unyielding. Let me find it. Boom, unyielding. So let's go wreck some super mutants. My next weapon spotlights is probably going to be a two-shot explosive 50 cal machine gun because I just recently bought one. Now we're already one-shotting these guys and we don't even have to try. Easy. They haven't even seen us yet. So coming over to get this guy, we can hopefully look at how much damage we can get for a sneak attack power attack to the head. About 8,000 damage. I'd say that's pretty good. I already have that bloody death bug gauntlet game. Now, from the looks of it, we're just one-shotting everything without even having to try. Now, we could do even more damage if we had a third claw in here, but as I said, I don't actually have more right teeth, and you need 10 more right teeth to put the third claw in here. So we're not getting maximum damage, but we're getting a good amount. Alright, now with 60% adrenaline, we're getting 11.02. Pretty good. I'm gonna run and run back. Oh yeah, and checking in third person, this thing is massive. Apologies to the fact that I haven't really been uploading recently. I've had things I've been doing, and prefer for me to have a more regular upload schedule. He's just reaching his arm up into space, isn't he? Alright. So, against max level super mutants, we don't even have to try. We can just one shot everything. Now this may not be the same for some other enemies, but it is for these guys. So that's easy, right? And just killing who has ever up here. He 
He had cotton candy bites. Odd. Maybe that was his favorite food before he was a nudie. Now, this isn't even my own weapon. This is my friend Bold's weapon. So if you want this thing, he's probably going to be selling it for about 500 caps. So if you want it in your hands, go buy it off him. But anyway, let's just head inside. Inside. We can see that a lot of these super mutants actually showed up for work today, which is pretty nice in my opinion. Right? So with just a power attack to the torso, we're getting about 3,000 damage. And now we're spotted. Or maybe not. Thank you, escape artist. Alright, so... I, I think I need to talk about the new exploit with essentially what is infinite XP. I'll probably compile it, the clip in here, but I clipped a level 42 and level 306 doing the new XP exploit we're basically somewhere in the white springs over here or way up here these guys are at that's that's the guy right there the flaming fisker but at the relay tower LWB 122 there is actually a um, laser tripwire and if you have level 3 home defense whenever you disarm it you can infinitely disarm it getting what is essentially infinite steel infinite uh, fiber optics bundles and infinite crystal as well as practically infinite XP now I don't recommend doing this because this is just an easy way to get banned considering you're abusing a bug now I just I, I can I can't emphasize enough please do not do this this is such an easy way to get your account banned but back on a happier note this weapon you could just one shot even more now this weapons only in one star it's not anything special but it performs just like anything else which is what I love about bloodied weapons plus it has a fast attack speed now if it would have been a bloody swing speed one, that would have been better and I probably would have bought it. But, you know, I don't have many caps as you can tell. I actually recently bought a two shot explosive 50 cal. I think I said that. I am a dum dum. I've tested the 50 cal out just a little bit and it performs pretty well. When I do it, I'll probably show different two different things. One at full HP, and one at 20% HP. So you can see the two different damage types. And where is this guy? There he is. He just fell. Alright. I believe that's everyone in here. Nope. No, you. Now let's go get the big old boss. Easy as that. Now the big old boss does in fact have an RPG and a sledgehammer, so yet yeah, he needs to die. Ooh, he had a short Gatling gun. Sweet. Alright, just I'm gonna run over to the next part. Just right over here. And he is actually where he's supposed to be behind that table. And let's see who's on the potty break. This guy is. Alright, let's go kill this guy and his doggo. Cause they ain't nothing to us, right? Alright. Well, he yeeted his dog. 
poor dog. Still can't sprint. I probably need to get a new controller. And even if we get spotted, we could probably still insta-kill everyone. Yep, we still insta-kill everyone, and I, yeah, that's 60% adrenaline. Now I just gotta run over to this room, which is just hell. I've noticed that this door doesn't even have an animation anymore. Now I need to go hide, because they're going to kill me. This is why I hate this room. We can hopefully get any spawns at all. Oh, I left the super mutants because I was salty, okay? I'll admit it. We did get ghouls, and they're awake. Up uh, bright and early. And a three star straight off the bat. I'll sell that. That's actually fair. Oh, I spotted a goo pile. That's bad. Is that two goo piles? This guy just didn't spawn. Looks like Boston shop for work today. Another goo pile. And by the looks of it, I think we've got sleepers. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, that was nice and quick. Thank you, escape artists, for losing them. Or making them lose me. And I don't think we got an actual big old boss. Such as a Wendigo or a big boil. Or, if you want to call it by the correct name, a bloated glowing one. But, we've got the drop on the sleepers, rather than the sleepers getting the drop on us. That's always a good way to have things, right? Alright, let's just run over here. Kill these guys. Now, we, we didn't get a full spawn, but you could obviously tell against ghouls. This is very quick and easy. Because they have, like, no armor resistance, we stand a very, very high chance against them. Easy as that. I think that's everyone. Alright. I'm gonna go kill Swan now. Swan is a big old three star, and he's also awake for once in his life. He's not drowning while T posing. And let's just see what kind of damage we can get from this. Or that. Alright then. Alright, while I was running over here I saw there was two behemoths. Now there's only one and it's the three starred one, which I'm happy about. Alright, I'm all the way over here in stupid rad barrels. And we didn't quite insta-kill him, but are we even doing damage? We are. He just has that much HP, I guess. And now he's going to chase me down. All right. That 
didn't hit me, that hit next to me. Swan is being a butt today. Alright, Swan. You've been a real butt to me today. So, instead of poking you with a little gauntlet, I brought out the big guns. There you go. Tactically, I killed him with the Mole Miner Gauntlet, right? And hey, even more three stars armor. Or even more three stars. And hey, a Tesla rifle. Thanks, Swan. After all that trouble, you actually gave me an, uh, eh, weapon. Alright, I'm gonna go kill some Krabbies. I'm also very salty. And over here with the Krabbies. We can see a frog. Because the Milo Kings are frog. Haha, <laughs> get it. I assume we're just gonna insta kill them. Because it'd be like that. And I nearly leveled up. That music is illegal. Stop. Now, we're just insta-killing these guys, with no trouble, as usual. I'm glad we were insta-killing those guys, because I forgot to put my melee perks back on. There we go. Oh, please don't spot me, because if... As soon as you spot me, I'm gonna get the blight. That's gonna suck. I miss. But we can take her down just as easy as anything. Right? Now I gotta get out of this rancid water. I'm gonna die. Like, I'm so close to dying right now. But, I guess I could save it for that guy, right? Alright, I'm gonna probably use some right away and then go kill a Scorch Beast. See you there. And what have we got over here? Most likely robots, because that's usually what spawns over here is robots. Maybe we didn't get anything. Oh, we got Scorched. I guess we can see what this thing does against Scorched, right? <laughs> yeah, it insta kill some easier than some other enemies. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And there's a Scorch Beast, so I need to put a different perk on rather than sneak. I need Enforcer. Alright, gun. There we go. This Free State's paint on the shotgun is awesome. I'm gonna review this thing soon. But, let's just take down a Scorch Beast. Apparently there's a Sentry Bot as well. No! That's illegal. There we go. That was a massive stutter. Alright, man, he's just gonna sit there and walk into the tree. And I need to kill him real quick or I'll die. There we go. That was a close one. None of my shots were hitting. An epic battle music plays while this sentry bot waddles away. So, if you want to see this awesome weapon in your game, not that one, but this one, 
my friend bold admiral bold underscore admiral 013 is going to be selling it at his base for a little while until someone buys it now this weapon as you can tell is fairly good is killing most enemies and while just being generally good now more minor gauntlets in general are good so bloodied one just makes it even more overpowered well i'll see you see you guys tomorrow or whenever i upload next